Hawthorne Diner. Totally cool. Um, this is uh, this is a kind of diner come casino kind of um, setup. So um, let's just have a look what we got on the sheet. Uh, I'll start with this bar. Okay. And this is a really, really simple kind of uh, setup. You've got put some small bends into these half cuts here, okay? And that gives you that nice kind of right angle. And then you've got one here and one here. And all you're going to do is slot that one onto there and slot that one onto here. And you've got this really fantastic bar. Um, then you've got these little beer pumps which you can basically just stick on here. Like so. Um, and you do have this, this fantastic little, uh, little bar. Um, which is cool. Full of shotgun shells and busted plates and so on and so forth. So there's a little bar. Um, next up we have got the, let's do the pool table, a stubborn bit, there you go, look at that, okay, so there we go, there's our, our, our pool table, and again we've got the half cuts on here, now this base is not reversible, it's never going to be changed around, it's got a very small clip that holds in place just through the tension of the card, okay, if you want to, you can it's very strong actually. Actually, I don't want to put it apart. It's very, it holds very well. Uh, but if you want to, you can obviously um, just glue that. Pool table on top, and there it is. There's your pool table. Don't glue that on top though, because you've also got a blackjack table on the other side, unless you've got loads of them and you want them really solid. Okay, so um, there you go. That's your, your, your pool table, stroke blackjack table. Um, next up I think we'll do some dining tables and again these are really cool very much based on the same way that we we do our tables for the terrain uh, for most of the terrain okay um, so you've got a couple of tables there oops like so I'm gonna assemble both of these there you go and they got these little pieces these little kind of um, Almost those fixed menus you get on some of the tables now um, nowadays, as it were. So a very diner style. It, it, it is a diner after all. Um, so you've got that. That's really cool. And the reason I assembled but two different textures on the tables as well to break up. The reason I've um, assembled both of those is because on one side you've got a roulette table, and on this one you've got you know you, you get you've got the kind of basically the gambling tables which is really cool because you could then have the blackjack table and that makes your kind of casino setup if you want to go down that road um, as well um, obviously I'm showing you one sheet here you um, you get two of these sheets you're gonna get kind of double of everything that we've got here which is great which is good for the bar because you could set another bar up and have this huge bar with all this stuff going on over here okay um, let's do the the final kind of table setup. These are your booth tables, okay? Uh, and these are really simple. Again, um, no, they're not reversible actually. These ones must have run out of time, okay? Uh, but definitely different textures on each table. And these are designed to clip in to a wall. So if I grab a wall, so what I can do with this is I can pop that in here like so um, and I could pop another one here I guess or over here um, like so and these are kind of those tables that probably next to a window would be really cool you'd have those next to a window those kind of diner tables this would be built into a building okay um, then we've got the the chairs if you like for those tables So here you go, uh, I, don't, I guess I don't need to assemble both of these. Um, bend this one down, bend this one down as well. You've again got these parts here which just simply slot in over each side. I can line this up properly. There we go. 
So that's one. And then on the other side, that is two, like so. Well, that's a tough one. Probably I've got a thin slot there, which I've not adjusted. So I'll just force it down there like that. Okay. And then you've got this little backrest part, which just fits in here. And what you end up with is obviously you end up with the, the, um, you end up with the chair that's used on both sides. So you've got, that will go there and that will be the, t the seating for both sides of that table. So, uh, actually, in fact, if I move it a bit closer, um, you'd be able to kind of fit it like that if you wanted it really, really close. Um, and, and we've got another one here, so, and you'd have, obviously, four of these in a, in, in a set, so. That's really good, that gives you that kind of, so you've got, you've got tables um, in the, you would, in a diner, you'd have tables in the middle of the room, you've got your, your booth tables around the outside, and it really just fills out a couple of pool tables, in fact, a pool table and a blackjack table, okay? So that's really cool. Um, the only thing really left on here are the chairs and the scatter. So I'll grab a chair. Uh, and a bit like the office chairs from the mixed scatter items, it's a very, very simple setup. You just pop those on there like that. And you then stick that under there. And that gives you that lovely little diner chair, which would go around your tables. And these are great. Yeah, kick that over, jump over, shotgun action. Okay, so you've got that. Um, and then there's just loads of plates. You know, we had a little bit, a little bit of room that I couldn't really do much with. So you can put those on tables if you want, um, scatter them around the floor. Um, or whatever it is that you, you, you're doing for your post-apocalypse setup. Um, the diner's really, really cool because, um, a bit like the police station, it's got some really cool, reversible, usable stuff. And then we give you two sheets and that just fills it out. It fills out that whole, um, that, that, that whole kind of diner area. Um, there you go, a totally wicked sheet. Hawthorne Diner.